But got to be honest. You know, every day I I live my life the best I can and do the best that I can. But some of those times, those days are just not enough. And it's just, it's tearing me up inside, man. It's just, you know, I get on here and I teach. I show you guys things and I, I try to be as honest as I can with you guys because there's no need to be fake or um, hide truth from you guys. But I want y'all to really see how this stuff works out. I have to be honest. And right now, man, I'm just, I'm just fighting my own demons right now. Um, and I fight the, I fight the demon of wanting to go, wanting to go get high right now. Fighting the demon of just wanting to get drunk and not feel anymore. And I'm fighting the demon of lust, man. I'm fighting the demon of wanting to look at this girl, wanting to look at that girl. And, uh, though I've had no slip ups, I haven't looked at any, um, I haven't looked at the hub as y'all know how I feel about the hub, but I'm not going to sit here and lie. Is there something that come across my page that something that I, I, I want to look up that's very sensual? Yeah, that's the honest truth. Sometimes I, I do come across stuff that's very sensual and I can't help myself but want to look, you know, and I, I find myself looking at these sensual things, wondering about these sensual things. You know, I'll even admit when I first started streaming on here, you know, when I was first um, trying to show you guys how strong the uh, power of lust can be. And I was showing you all those women doing the try on hauls and um, showing you all the women doing the ASMRs and all that kind of stuff. Man, it gets to me. It does. I'd be lying to you if I didn't say I like, like looking at women who are being very sensual and sexual. And sometimes it's hard to not want to go back to that life and want to do that. Just just about an hour ago, I was sitting on my bed and y'all just hands in my palms. Like, when does this stop? Like, when did it get to the point where I don't want to, I don't want these things anymore. As much as I like to tell you guys, like, stay away from all these sexual things. My addiction after 17 years of doing this still wants to look. I still think about it in my head, even though I haven't seen these videos in months nine months that's not that long and I, I find myself hating myself I find myself I find myself hating myself all the time like I don't deserve to go on like because I still think about these things and sometimes I actually take a look sometimes when I'm scrolling a woman comes across my thing and I stop and I stop and I look for a few seconds because I, I, I can't help myself sometimes it's like I'm so used to stopping and looking and then going to the hub and getting myself off and even when I wanted to run from those things I used to I used to smoke so much just to just to escape I used to drink so much just to escape for a second, but it never stops. It feels like those, it feels like those demons are always in my head, man. And I, 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 I fight with myself like, when does, honestly, I'm, I feel like, when does God give up on me? Like, when does he say, You've had enough time. You're still thinking about this stuff. And it's always just me. I know I've seen people change over time. I've seen people get over their addiction, not in just one night, but it took them years to finally stop. And I know that there was grace given to them. But when I think about myself, I just hate myself so much that I don't think I get that same grace. Even though you can look at my life, I've been giving grace all the way up to this age. But every time I have a slip up, every time I want to look at a woman, every time I want to Every time I pass the dispensary and it just crosses my mind for a second, I can go back. I can go smoke again. I see a liquor store and I start thinking, maybe I can just go back. Let me just go back into the place and just disappear. It's, it's, so, it's so hard because what happens is you get the imposter syndrome. 
the same thing that happened to that dude with the deep fakes that story hit me hard because you want to try to be a good person but you get caught up and that's all i'm that's all i'm, I'm just all that's all i'm thinking about i sit here and think like one day i'm gonna be oh my i'm gonna be live streaming and um i don't know man when, when something's gonna pop up from my past or something's gonna pop up and bam there it is i'm gonna get found out even though i'm not doing anything i'm i'm it's like i'm waiting for me to fail i can't help but be miserable I, for some reason, I'm one of those people, and I'm sure you've met people like me, that I, I, for some reason, I don't know what it feels like to be content and be happy with myself. I constantly live in this misery. I want to live in this pain. It's like I like living in fear, even though I hate it. But even more so now, when I don't have any other escape, my only escape is to escape to my own pain. I do stuff that I know is gonna make me feel terrible. I say things that I know is going to make me feel terrible. I do things that I know is going to make me sad, depressed, and I can't seem to find a way out of that. That's the demon I'm fighting. Depression, pain. I don't know where to go. You know, you go through therapy, you go through your friends, you talk to your friends, but what, what can be said? All you're gonna hear is this, oh, don't worry, Trey, it's okay. I, I understand, you'll get through it. Everything's gonna be fine, you'll be all right. Not what I feel. I get so tired of fighting. And I, I hate saying this, but it's just the truth. There's people out there who when they get to this point and they can't go on, they decide not to go on. I thought I would never understand that. I'm being a, I never thought that I would be able to understand what it meant to feel like you don't want to keep going. You want to take it into your own hands. You'd be like, if I'm going to sit here scared every single day, I'd rather just take it into my own hands. But I, I get it more and more every day. It is not even anybody doing anything to me. It's all in my head, man. It's just me thinking to myself every single day. Why do you wake up? What are you gonna do today? Are you gonna screw up? Gonna make another mistake? Are you gonna fall into lust? Are you gonna take care of yourself? I never thought I would sit in my bed every morning and just contemplating actually getting up. I, every time I stand up, I think to myself, is this it? Am I done? I don't want to, I don't want this life to be over yet. I know it's going to get harder, but I'm okay with that. But I can't, I can't get through my head anymore. I can't get past hating myself. It's just flat out true. I'll tell you what, when I used to look at, you know, when I used to look at pornography and I used to be in the drugs and all those kind of things all the time as bad as it made me feel it made me feel so bad it felt right if that makes any sense at all i felt so bad i hated myself so much and i still do i still do today but i hated myself so much and for what i was doing and what i was looking at and the the dehumanization of it all uh going to work high being high every day and i remember drinking so much and not caring about anybody and everyone around me and that pain, for some reason, made me feel normal. And now I don't even have anything outside of myself giving me the pain and I wanna go back. I wanna go back. I wanna go back. It's like, and here's my honest thought. When I think about God and all that, I think to myself, well, if God hates me, I want to give him a reason to.
like if i'm truly thinking like if my life is worthless i want to make it worthless i don't know i know this a lot of this stems from me being adopted you know this stems a lot from me growing up black in an all-white town this stems from me getting rejected all the time this stems from me growing up fat not knowing how to control my weight this stems from me being a short guy shorter than most of the kids in my school and just all the rejection that comes with that you get so bogged down and then when i finally get into the adult world you get cheated on you get and it's it's not even just that it's not like i look at my life and think oh man if those things had to happen because there's things i've done to myself when i could have dealt with the pain i decided to run from the pain and i decided to do things that didn't make any sense all the rejection i got from women made me turn to pornography all the rejections i got from my peers maybe turn to drinking you know and all the rejection i got from just my parents made me turn to hate i treated people terrible and i mean things i've done in my life i'm just i feel awful about them i don't want it to seem like i'm making myself out to be the good guy that's the issue i have never seen myself as the good guy I always see myself as the bad guy. That's why I hate myself so much. I don't see myself as the good guy. Even when I get on here and I teach you guys lessons and I teach you guys about life, I'm not teaching you to say, I'm good, you're bad. I'm teaching you to say, I'm bad. Please don't be me. Please just don't be me. Do everything in your power not to be me. Don't get lost in this life of addiction. Don't screw people over. Don't steal from people. Don't lie to people. Don't hurt people. I just don't want you guys to be me. That's all I really want. If you just don't be me, I promise you, you'll be a good person. Now, the opposite of this is I have to understand that there is grace and I have to accept that. I have to accept that forgiveness. I just don't know how. Every day I try to live this life for real. And that's why I try to do good. And that's why it burns me up inside when I do bad. But I don't know what it, what is, what is the, what is living right look like? I have no idea. It seems like anybody you look up to, everybody you look up to is, they always end up doing something terrible. It's, it, and it's like to the point where all of us are doing stuff that's so bad, or at least the people I see. I don't know what it looks like to live right and it's the internet it's my fault because i get sucked up in the internet every time i see something good happening on twitter on instagram if you go in the comment section which i'm bad for doing you go in the comment section and you see people still hating no matter what the situation is there could be somebody saying hey i went to go see the waterfalls people in the comments would be like i wish i had the money you're a terrible person why didn't you give that money to charity why didn't you do this or oh, whatever made sense if you had kept that money for your kids it's like every time i go to the comments it's like i get bogged down and like you're right no matter what we do nothing is necessarily right there's always going to be people who hate against it but that's once again that's just me i don't know dude i'm over it uh, i'm really just over it i'm just hoping that I'm just hoping I can figure this stuff, man. I can't I figure this thing out. But this is really my story, man. I don't ever want to get on here and be something I'm not. You know? The panic attacks have stopped again. But the anxiety is still at an all-time high. If you ever notice when I do live streams, and I'm looking down at the keyboard or something. It's hard for me to look up. My anxiety makes it hard for me to look up sometimes. I have the same problem when I go to church. I have the same problem when I go to work. I, I, I look down because I can't look up. And so it's not me just not wanting to look at you guys. It's, this is just the easiest way for my anxiety to stay down. But I'm fighting these demons, man. I know, it's, I'll, I'll say this and I'm done. I know some people say depression is not as real. Depression ain't that real. Well, I think people believe depression is real, but no, you know what? If there's medication out there that can stop it, I don't know. 
But what I can tell you is that I don't, I, I can't even explain the feelings I get. I feel so down sometimes. I feel so crazy sometimes. I feel so out of it sometimes. There's just no way to explain it. And I hate people who get on line and they want to pretend they have depression and anxiety and panic attacks and they want to fake it because they want to be a part of it so bad people want to feel pain so bad even i fell into this boat and i want to tell you guys right now if you have a boring life if you wake up and the sun shines in your life please 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 don't do don't wish for this life don't wish you could be sad don't wish you could feel anxiety don't want to wish upon yourself any kind of mental illnesses it's not worth it <clears throat> it's not cool it's not fun it sucks i'm tired of fighting my demons i just thought i'd tell y'all the truth <laughs>